from Haley's Room, and today we'll be doing a TikTok food recipe slash hack challenge. Not really a challenge, but it's gonna be a fun video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and here are all the recipes. Now let's get on with the video. So this is the video right here. So that's what we will be making and I am really excited because it looked good. So we got our bread, a couple of chocolate chips, marshmallows, and we don't need the butter yet because we'll do that baking part later. And they said that we needed marshmallow cream and we don't have that. So I'm just going to have marshmallows but I'm going to melt them in the microwave. So let's put them in a the bowl. So this just came out. I put it in for 20 seconds. And I'm just mixing it, mixing it around. And I think it turned into marshmallow cream. I mean, pretty obvious, but I am proud of myself. Like, yay! That was the first step. And now, I think, no, now we'll go on to the next step. So I figured out the next step. I got the bread out. And we have our marshmallow cream here. And then we have our chocolate chips over here. And they say that you need a knife to spread on the marshmallow cream. So here we are using a knife and then we're spreading on the cream. Zoom in on this real quick, like messed up. Okay, we're almost done spreading it. I have an idea now. Maybe if I spread put Pam on the knife, it won't stick to the marshmallow. Let's go get some Pam. Spray the Pam on. Let's try to spread it. See? Oh no, come on. Well, I think this is as good as we're gonna get. It's really pretty marshmallowed up if you'd ask me. So now, we're gonna add the chocolate chips, as you saw from the recipe. So here we are, we never gave an exact amount, so we're just gonna drizzle it all over. It's like going sweet and bread salty. I guess sweet and salty, maybe. There we go. That, oh, we're making a mess. That looks good. That looks great. But I guess a side by side to what theirs is gonna. Oh, there it goes so fast. Well, theirs looked like that. Now, oh, okay. So then we're done with the chocolate chips because then we only have to put marshmallow cream on this one too. So we're gonna try now to put some marshmallow cream. Oh, marshmallow cream on here. Do you think that's enough? I think that's gonna be great because hers turns out perfect. Here's mine. Ooh. Okay, that should be good. And then we have all of this left. Okay, now I really have to wash my hands. Hold up. <laughs> hands are washed. Oof. Now what we do is smush them together. Smush. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look that appetizing. Especially. Oh, look at that. Okay. Let's clean up our mess. And then... We'll get to the next step. Uh, now I have this and I have my pan thing. So it says to butter, like put butter on it. And then didn't say how I should bake this. So I'm just gonna put it on low. Or let's put it on two. Cause we're just gonna put it on two. And then it says, okay, wait. Can you spray this with pan? Hmm, let's 
figure that out first. So I think you do that, and we are allowed to spray this with Pam, just not on the thing, on the oven. So I'm gonna go spray this with Pam over the sink. It has now been sprayed with Pam and turned it back on. Well, now we have. And we're gonna let that do its thing. And then I'm gonna put that on there. So I'm just gonna wait for that to, to I don't know, to be ready. So I think it's time to put this on. I'm nervous. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, let's do this. Got the weird feeling sandwich. Put it, it on, then I'm just gonna let it cook, I think. <laughs> she said, the person said, till it turned brown, like golden brown. Like, look at this. Golden brown. Or a little bit darker. I'm gonna flip it because I'm not patient and I don't know what the bottom looks like. So. Oh no. Beginner cooker here. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay. It kind of looks buttery. I mean, duh. Like, you see? This? It looks buttery. It's not golden brown. I'll tell you that. It's more of a. Just, it soaked up the pan. <laughs> Okay, just keep flipping this and hope for the best. It's almost ready, I think, to flip. I hope it is. Ugh. I can hear it sizzling, so I'm just gonna flip it. Oh, it was just getting to be toasty. Let's go back. <laughs> I am not patient with this. If you can't tell, I am not a patient person. So I'm always just like on the wanting to do this thing. Do you see that? It's starting to get real. It's kind of looking like a grilled cheese to me. <laughs> At least that's the unhealthy version of a grilled cheese, obviously. Oh my gosh, it's starting to look better. I'm so proud. Turn this off before I transport. Because, ooh, if I transport it with this. Okay, let's do this. Beginner cooks here. Transporting to the plate. Boom. Oh, we're, doing, we're gonna do this over here, over there, because I'm nervous I'm gonna burn something, like myself. <laughs> so let's go. Okay, we've moved the sandwich over here. Everything's turned off, so nothing is gonna happen. But I'm just looking at the inside of this, and ooh, melted. Okay. Oh, it's hot. Okay. She said that this is the best part right here. And it's cutting it to like directly in half. I've got a new knife. Now time to to split in half. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, it's not even halfway. Oh gosh, already not doing it out the best. Oh, here we go. Okay, Reggie. Da, oh no. Da, da, Hers turned out a lot better looking. <laughs> but there's the inside. Now I'm gonna go try. You can see my reaction on how I like it or not. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, it's time to try it. I mean, the inside looks great. But the outside, I don't know. Let's just try it. Okay, it's hot though. Let's go anyway. Three, two, one. I didn't get any marshmallow. 
Mm. I will say that this is bomb. I would 100% try this. It's like, even though the bread is not like meant to be with this, it just tastes so good. Like, I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Something about it tastes literally so good. Okay, this TikTok hack, so good. Recommend it. Try it at home. So good. <laughs> on to the next. On to the next one. <laughs> okay, so now we are on the next hack or recipe. One of them. And here it is. Let me show you. That is a quesadilla hack. So they said it was quick and easy, and I think I can do it, actually. So I'm gonna get everything we need first. So I got the two things we need. We needed the quesadilla and the cheese. Well, the tortilla. We're making a quesadilla. So, let me get a cutting board. Let's cut this out. If I can get it out. <laughs> there we go. Quesadilla. Okay, they said only one. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm kind of nervous here. We got our thing in the bobber. Tortilla. Oh, I keep forgetting what that's called. Now we need some cheese. How much? A fourth of a cup of cheese. So exact. You know what? Let's just eyeball it. <laughs> because why not? Okay, and I'm gonna fold it, this, this, and then in half, and then we're supposed to put it in the toaster like this. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to clean up all this cheese that flew everywhere. We went from dessert to a dinner, I guess. Let's go and put it in the toaster. Okay, I got it. Now we're gonna put it in the toaster. Will it even fit? Oh, it fits. Barely. We're gonna push it down. Oh, I don't know. Should we push it down? Is it even plug? Okay. I'm kind of nervous for this because it barely went down. <gasps> I just pushed defrost. Oops. And pushed defrost on accident. Now it's not even going down. What is happening? Okay. Just popped out. I'm kind of nervous because there's like steam popping up. And I don't know. Is it hot? Well, duh, it's steaming. Common sense. Okay, I don't know how to get this that way. I'm just gonna barely touch it, maybe, and then put it on the cutting board. <laughs> like that. Mm. Look at that. It's burnt. Oh, well that part is. This part isn't really. It's kind of crunchy. This may be successful. Maybe. Okay, now let's try it out. Okay, so I let it cool down for a little because when I felt it, it was blazing hot. I think I'm gonna try it now and it's really crunchy. Like, see that? It's crunchy. And then the cheese is obviously melted. I wouldn't, I would assume that. I'm gonna try it and hope I don't burn my tongue. You know what? That is delicious. 100% recommend this. <laughs> Look at how much cheese I bought. <laughs> I'd recommend this, but I would use something else to take it out with. For sure. Probably gonna finish this off. And then go on to the next one. <laughs> Hi guys, it is now like a day or so after the when I filmed the other recipes. But we had like a huge storm and our power went out, so I couldn't film anything. So that is why I'm in a different outfit and we'll just get right to the next recipe. Here is the next 
next recipe. Looks great, and I'm super excited to try this out. These are all the ingredients we need. I already got them out, and I have my cup right here because they need to blend it. So, first, it says a cup of milk. Got the milk and a cup. I mean, that's a decent amount of milk, I think. Oh, this is new milk. <laughs> a little spill not that bad certainly it's a lot worse for me if you watch my other videos like the one where I was baking cookies you should have seen that go check that out it was a mess now we have our milk and next what is the next step sugar. two tablespoons of sugar Got our sugar. We need to get the tablespoon. This is one tablespoon. So I need two of these. We've got our sugars in the bowl. <laughs> a lot of sugar on here. Just zoom in on that. And then uh, a third of a cup of chocolate chips. I'm going to bow on these. <laughs> Slow-mo that. Ooh. It went everywhere. Okay, we're in a little bit more. Oh, and it went everywhere again. At least not a lot of milk splash. Only just a little bit. <laughs> Got the chocolate chips. Some chocolate syrup. I'm just going to guess them in on this because it's chocolate syrup. Who wouldn't want to guess a minute on chocolate syrup? <laughs> we still have our tablespoons though. Oh yes, chocolate. There's a lot in there. Oh, but it's so good. Now next, what's the next step? I mean, <laughs> while we're at it, just add a little bit extra. Ooh, two cups of ice. Let's get the two cups of ice. So now I got one cup of ice right here and it says two cups. An eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Vanilla extract of a teaspoon. <laughs> oh no, it went a little over. Oopsie. Oopsie daisies. And then it says to blend, so just gonna clean up my mess and then I'll blend. So now we're gonna blend it when my mom is helping me. <laughs> and <yeah>. ooh. <laughs> okay, so I just finished blending. I stopped recording because it got really loud, but here it is. It's starting to look pretty good. I mean, I mean, it looks really good. So we have our straw, favorite color. <laughs> I'm gonna mix it around. It's kind of thick, but actually no, it's very liquidy. I thought it was thick, but it's really liquidy. Let's try it. I don't need a lot, but it's fine, right? <laughs> okay. Actually pretty good. At first I only tasted like the vanilla extract, so I was like, hmm. Yeah, it's really good actually. Mm. Mm. There we go. <laughs> mm. This tastes like Starbucks. I recommend. It's very good. <laughs> and also, what else? And there's no coffee in it, so anyone could really drink it. And so far, all of these have been like really good. And they've worked. And they taste good. Mmm. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you want to do like TikTok life hacks, TikTok 
anything. TikTok dances, like, just let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I will keep drinking this. Maybe not the whole thing, because it's a lot, but yeah, on to the next one. This next life hack is Oreo brownies. And I'm so excited, because I love Oreos. And if I like Oreos, then of course I'm gonna like Oreo brownies, because I like brownies too. And here is the... Yeah, so I am very excited. I really, really want to do this. And as you saw, all you need is milk, some Oreos, but we got the double stuff, so they're better, obviously. We got the mug and the fork. So now, time to start baking. So the first step, I have the mug, and you're supposed to open the Oreos. Oh, and these are new, so that's why they're full. And then she said to put about seven, so I guess we'll put in about seven. Oh, full, but we'll just trust the process here. It's enough Oreos. Here they are. And then she said to pour in milk. She never gave an exact measurement. She just said pour in some milk. I don't want to pour in too much. Let's grab our fork. And then she said to just. Do that to it. Just crunch downwards. <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared. See what it's supposed to look like. Okay. okay, it should look something like this kind of thing. Kind of thick is what they said. And this is what mine looks like. I mean, I mean it's really kind of white, but that's because we had double stuff, so. I guess that makes sense, but I don't know, I just feel like it's not enough. Maybe? Do you think I need more? And still, like, it's not fully crunched at the bottom. It's definitely more of a batter texture. Yeah, I think we're getting it. Yeah, as you can tell, it went down a lot. So I guess like, we're supposed to trust in the process of only putting in seven. Of putting a lot, actually. And then she said to put it in the microwave for 60 seconds. So, okay, let's see. This is what it looks like. I'm sure you could just eat it like this right now, but we're still just going to continue on with this. Oh, it actually looks kind of... Okay, this looks pleasing. Looks like what she said. So let's go put it in for 60 seconds. There it is, it's cooking. <laughs> so I just took it out and it doesn't look good. Like, look at this. I dipped my fork in and it's like liquid and it's supposed to be like a cake texture. Like, when it's still hot too. So I'm just gonna put it in for maybe another 15 seconds and see if it turns into cakey texture at all. Cause if not, then this is gonna be a fail, which we don't want. So, let's put it back in. It just came out and it's so bubbly and I actually think it might work because it's starting to get more cakey, I can tell. Like, look at that. A little bit more cakey. Maybe we can just put it in for a little longer. So I really had faith in this. So, maybe just a little longer and then, it will turn into some cake. Let's try, let's just try 30 seconds. Let's go for it. Okay, so it's bubbling again, like really bubbly, really bubbly, but I'm just gonna try it. It's not raw or anything, so I should just eat it. You know, try it out, but really, bu oh, it is kind of cakey. I see the cakiness of it. Wait, look at that doesn't look that good but okay I'm just gonna try it when it's a lot cooler because it is literally sizzling it's that hot like sizzling <laughs> it's really hot so I'm just gonna wait until it stops sizzling probably it's really hot 
for you and it stopped sizzling. <laughs> okay, so I couldn't be any more patient. So I decided, I mean, it stopped sizzling, so I think I can just taste it, right? I mean, let me feel like it's a little warm. Just try it, you know? And it's more cakey, too. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> hot. Mm. Yeah, that definitely does taste like an Oreo brownie. If an Oreo were a brownie, this would be it for sure. I'm just, it's weird because it tastes plain. Hmm. Yeah, because if I were to rate this, I would rate it like a 7. I mean, it's okay. I'd rather just eat the Oreos itself. Mm. Eh. <laughs> mm. So yeah, that was the last um, food hack. And this is the end of the video. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment down below what was your favorite food hack, TikTok food hack. Cause I wanna know, you know? <laughs> Probably be trying some of the other ones, like more often than this one for sure. Yeah, bye and peace.